first crush? In high school? Boy or girl? Uh. <laughs> <sighs> oh God, I knew this question was gonna come up. If I keep it to high school, then that was um, that was Jim Miles. Adam Wade. Saul Wright. He was so alternative and wore eyeliner, and I loved him. He was tall, and he was uh, very muscular. But he was gorgeous. He was really sweet and really cute. And really hot and awesome, and I couldn't believe he liked me. And I kissed him under the bleachers, and I thought he was so cute, and he's so gay now. Mm-hmm. And I was a little sophomore, and I was very doughy-eyed at this guy, and um, we played servants in the show. And he liked me. We just came on and off in various stages of undress, and so I was like, oh my god, I'm a sophomore and he's so dreamy, and he's carrying me, oh my god. I would describe him as, um, I don't know, tall, dark, and handsome. That kind of look. <laughs> of course, they're like three feet tall, because they're all six years old. Like in kindergarten? <laughs> Xavier Little. He was this hot little Spanish boy. Oh, dear God. Menudo. <laughs> mm, he was smaller than me, but I just, I like him smaller than me like that because it makes me feel like I'm in control. My first crush will go with a celebrity. I grew up in a very traditional Mexican family, so I didn't even get to really listen to the radio or anything like that until like, high school. My major, major crush, probably more middle school than high school, but it kind of branched over, was Corey Feldman. I had this crush on him because he was in a movie, and in my mind, I was a little girl. I saw a crush on Richie Rich one time. <laughs> of all people, I just dated myself so bad. All of my musical influences were like Pedro Infante, <laughs> Vicente Fernandez. Them or uh, Duran Duran. There was a guy in Duran Duran named John Taylor, and he had the awesome, most awesome feathered hairdo. It was just amazing. Mariachi type stuff. So I used to have a crush on Vicente Fernandez. Everybody can go MySpace, I mean, Google him up or whatever. I loved him. And that's the one she stole away from me. <laughs> I hate her. Okay, my first and biggest high school crush was Mike Chapman. And I'll have to show him this. He'll be so happy he got a name. Or his name mentioned. Mike Chapman, he was my Jake Ryan. You know what Jake Ryan is? The first girl I like, she was a big thing, but I like them big when it comes to my women. And she played basketball with me, so I think maybe it was all that bumping on the court when I was in the post position that just kind of made me feel like something over there was special. Jake Ryan from 16 Candles, he was, remember her big crush? He was my Jake Ryan, that's what I tell everybody. Mike Chapman, talked to him on the phone last night actually. We've known each other for that long. Yeah, I'm old. I'm not gonna say her name because she might see this DVD. She's like, she likes anime. <laughs> Funny thing is I went to high school with my brother. So when I was a freshman, he was a senior and I had the biggest crush on one of his friends, which is the grossest thing because he's one of my good friend's brothers. I think that was third grade. I think, but I almost, I don't know if I've imagined it, but I, I believe that he kissed me even. And this awesome, like, in the hallway by the lockers. I still see him till this day, and now I look at him like, gross, I had a crush on you? So yeah, his name was, I can't tell you. <laughs> I don't remember him actually really ever saying anything. <laughs> but I have this really vivid recollection of him like leaning against a locker in all of his third grade glory and kissing me. Maybe it's a dream. Oh, my first kiss? God. My first kiss was at... at... My first... <laughs> okay, my first kiss was with Adam Wade. I just found him on MySpace, too. I'm not a hooch, I swear. I didn't have very many boyfriends. I had, like, four. And then I married the fourth one. <laughs> well, my first... My first kiss was probably, like, in fifth grade, I guess. Seventh grade? grade at the Valentine's Day dance. Uh, he was actually my very first boyfriend. So of course it was cool because, you know, he was a junior and I was a freshman and I thought it was cool and now it's not so cool. <laughs> His name was Dexter Thompson and we was by the soda machines and I was buying some strawberry soda 
and he was getting a Sprite. I think his name was Jimmy. So it was during a game of Truth or Dare. He bumps up against me and... We, you know, kissed. Next thing you know, it was magic. Oh, you know what? I had a, like, a third, a second or third cousin. He kissed me in a tree in second grade. That might have been the first one. You know, it was a kiss. Um, it was, it was really good. And he put his tongue in my mouth and I was like, whoa! I was at my locker getting ready to go to class and um, he was standing next to me. You know how you talk in the locker in the hallway. And then he snuck in and gave me a kiss. It was amazing, I guess. <laughs> Just, no. Of course, I don't think of it as like the best kiss I've ever had, but it was good. Close to mouth because it was the first kiss. And then um, I went, oh, what's that about? That's, I don't like that, and so it was very awkward. I think my first kiss was probably like at a junior high birthday party, you know, it was like one of those, okay, your turn. <laughs> it was very exciting. So it wasn't really special at all. It was like five minutes of not breathing. And then I told my mom about it later, and she laughed at me. Or five seconds, I should say, because you know how you kiss and you're like, do I breathe, do I not breathe? Boring. My first kiss was in the eighth grade, before I made it to high school. At a, like, a dance party in someone's backyard. Classy. I didn't know exactly how it all worked. He bought me goobers, and then we kissed, and it was nothing. He went in for the kill, and I was there, and I felt something pressing against my closed teeth. Goobers? They're chocolate-covered peanuts, I believe. And that's when I was like, no, no tongue action or anything like that. That didn't come till the bleachers. Oh, it's, it's that kind of kiss. And yeah, so it was a little awkward. Nobody had explained anything to me. <laughs> it was one of those, oh, you're about to, oh. Nobody had said anything to me and that whole thing was weird. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. So I've gotten better at it since. Lots of practice, kids. I should have learned my lesson the first couple of times. <laughs> well. I was 16 years old when I had my first kiss. And I'm just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> Kissing cousins, who doesn't have that? Come on.